After North Korea conducted a nuclear ICBM Hwasong-15 test, the United States responded by flying long-range supersonic bombers later on 19 February for a joint exercise with South Korean warplanes in a demonstration of strength against North Korea. The US and Republic of Korea conducted a combined air training event with the US Air Force B-1 Lancer high above the Korean Peninsula on 19 February 2023. Republic of Korea Air Force F-35s and US Air Force F-16s joined in offering the Alliance an opportunity to rehearse short-notice recall missions. US B-1B bombers and other aircraft separately trained with South Korean and Japanese fighter jets over and near the South Korean Peninsula. The joint military exercise is a sign of US and ROK's deep friendship which is known as ironclad security commitment to South Korea. North Korea sensed it through the deployment of US B-1B bombers which are capable of carrying a huge payload of conventional weapons. To showcase combined capability to deter and counter regional threats, US Indo-Pacific Command B-1 bombers and F-16 fighter aircraft conducted a bilateral exercise with Japan Air Self-Defense Force B-115 fighter aircraft on February 19, 2023 over the Sea of Japan. The exercise was conducted to demonstrate our nation's rapid reaction capability, high levels of force readiness, close coordination, bilateral interoperability and credible deterrent capacity, the Japanese Self-Defense Force officer quoted saying. U.S. Indo-Pacific Command maintains a resilient and rapid response bomber and fighter capability in the Indo-Pacific theater, retaining the ability to quickly respond to any regional threat in support of our allies and in order to defend the U.S. homeland. The United States and Japan remain committed to jointly working to ensure peace and security throughout the Indo-Pacific region. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command official press release said in a watching national defense, Jai Hind, Pandey Matram.